Now guys, here we've got our top 15 pieces of data from Trapman IO Complete. This is in no particular order, and we're not gonna go into too much detail, so this is gonna be a rapid fire, basically a quick understanding of what these pieces of data mean. Okay, first off, we're looking at club path. Now, club path is a very quick understanding of how you delivered the club to the ball. So if it's a positive number, it means you're coming into out. If it's a negative number, it's out to win. Next up, club speed. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's how fast you've swung the club. Now, the face angle is the angle at which the club face is pointing at the moment of impact. So this was pointing 1.9 degrees right of center. So a positive number means right of center, a negative number means left of center. Now, face to path, is the difference between your club path and your face angle. So I left the club face 0.6 of a degree open compared to my path, which is why the ball has actually finished slightly right of center. Then you've got the ball speed, exactly what it sounds like, how fast did the ball leave the golf club. Smash factor is the relationship between your club speed and your ball speed. So if I times my club speed by 1.35, you'd get 125.6 miles an hour. It's effectively a measure of how efficient you were in your strike. 1.35 with a blade is very, very efficient for an iron. With a driver, you might see numbers up towards 1.5, but don't expect to see those with an iron too often. Now your launch angle is the angle at which the ball launched compared to the ground. So if you hit it directly along the ground, that would be a zero degree launch angle. If you hit it directly up in the air, that would be a 90 degree launch angle. Now 16.5 with a seven iron, probably a little bit lower than I'd expect, but you'll see this number and it, people will say, what's the perfect number for this club? There is no perfect number. All it needs to be is consistent to you and something that you understand so that you can understand if you need to lower the ball flight, you know how to do it. Now, launch direction is similar to the face angle. It's basically which way did the ball launch compared to the target line at the moment of impact? So 2.2 degrees to the right is a positive number. So positive is to the right, negative is to the left. So I've launched this 2.2 degrees right of center. Spin axis is which way is the ball spinning? So negative 1.5 means it's spinning one and a half degrees to the left, which is a draw swing. So if the ball, if it is a negative number, that again means left of center and the ball is gonna draw. If it's positive, it's gonna fade. Now the spin rate is how much spin is on the golf ball. So 5,000 revs with a seven iron, again, probably a little bit low. I probably need a bit of a different shaft in these clubs if I was gonna get numbers I'm particularly happy with. But a good place to start with to know if you're in the right ballpark is take the number on your iron and minus off a thousand. So if you've got seven iron, you're looking at about 6,000 revs of spin. So you can see mine is a little bit low there. Next up, we've got carry and total. Now carry is how far the ball went in the air. Total is how far it's gone once it's landed and rolled to the end. So I've hit that 183 in the air and 192 total. Now the dynamic loft is what was the loft on the club face at the point of impact. Now 20.5 degrees is slightly less than what will have been on the club if you had it perfectly neutral and static. So I've basically got the shaft leaning forwards to de-loft the face slightly. Now this is something you want to understand again and make consistent, there's no perfect number. So if you compare me to Rory McIlroy or compare me to Ollie behind the camera for example, those numbers are all gonna be very different from each other and all that really matters is that it's consistent and Rory's will be much better than both of ours. <laughs> okay, finally, we've got our impact offset and our impact height. Now, if you take the very middle of the golf club on a crosshair, if you're negative eight, that means you're eight millimeters towards the heel of the golf club on the offset, and negative two, I was two down from the middle. So basically, you've got negative towards the heel and positive to the toe, so right and left of center, and then negative on the height, on the impact height, you've got above and below the center line. Now, that was a very, very quick fire look at the data from TrackMan. If you have any other questions about your TrackMan IO, head to the playlist linked in the description because we've got 10 of the top questions about TrackMan IO that we got from our customers. If the question you have isn't in those videos, please feel free to leave a comment below this video and we'll make sure to get to that video very, very soon. See you soon and thank you for watching.